When you're in addiction, what will happen is the shaitan will come to you and say, he'll say, hey bro, hey, tell him, he's a hypocrite, hypocrite. Last night, sniffing, last night with the girls, and today, Allah, Allah. What's your problem, man? What's your problem? You hypocrite, munafiq. That's what he's going to say to you. He's going to say, how dare you do dhikr of Allah? How can you do this? You can't do this. Don't you know what you did to, what you did in front of Allah? And now you're going to say, Allah, Allah. Well, Allah was watching you when you were with the girl bouncing up and down. Allah was watching you. He kills the person in the mind. Don't listen to that. Don't listen to shaitan. Just carry on taking your dhikr. Now, let me give you an example, brothers. If you find a person who has an illness and the doctors have said antibiotics is going to be prescribed. Now the antibiotics, if the doctor gives it to you, they normally say to you, you better finish the entire course. Yes or no? Yes. If you take it and you feel good after three days, you better finish the 14 days. You better not stop at three days. If you stop at three days, you can yeah, I'm feeling better. I'm good. I don't need the antibodies. What's going to happen is it might be a temporary, you know, res, res, you know, you might have temporarily put yourself in a good shape, but then your body hasn't fully taken that antibiotics in. Then if it kicks back, you're going to go back on another set of antibiotics and maybe serious stuff after that. So you better finish your 14 days. What I'm saying to you, brother and sister is you want to take yourself of addiction. I'm going to give you the good you do every day. What you do is you start with your 10 minutes. Start with 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, take it up to an hour. The more serious you block yourself, the more of these dhikr antibiotics you're going to need for yourself. You see, Sheikh's giving dhikr antibiotics. Oh yeah, this is dhikr that's going to make you feel better, make you breathe again, make you smell what you should smell, make you feel what you're supposed to feel. How? And what the thing I'm saying to you is, don't stop after a while. Don't listen to waswasa. Don't let the shaitan stop you. Don't think that tonight I'm going to be tempted again. And my God, how can I sit here and do dhikr? Don't think of that. Just do the dhikr. If you get tempted by tonight, you get tempted by tonight. Don't say, just say to Allah, I'm going to try my best not to get tempted with my addiction. But if you get tempted, just after that, go back to dhikr again. Just do it, brother. Just do it. Listen to me. This is your only way and sister, only way of getting out of this. Because just as the antibiotics will take 14 days to kick in and to completely finish off what you got inside, just as some medicines, sometimes you know you got TB, they'll prescribe you medicine for one year. You better take this medicine. For one year they prescribe it. I don't know the condition of your heart, brother or my sister. Depending on the condition of your heart, how much damage you've done over the years, that's how long you need to do your dhikr and continue it until you feel that you are freed from the cage of imprisonment of the shaitan. You free yourself.